Hey everybody, Rodman here. Thanks for tuning in to Kenshi Birth of a Hive. So here we go, a little recap of the rules and goals. I know they're always changing, so they're hard to keep up with, but there you go if you need a pause. And let's get going. So last episode, we turned in the Dust King, and we are currently recuperating from the fight. So we have everyone just kind of sitting out on the roof here, waiting for the most injured people to heal up. Uh, beep, let's go rent this bed. There we go. All right, I do believe there's a few other beds here in case I need them. So Talon and Acid and Queen. Voila, wunderbar. Another task I'm going to need to do, and this one is a little bit more annoying. Um, these two soldiers here that are sitting around the home, um, we are going to need to run them over to... World's End, which is honestly not that easy of a task. So uh, what I'm going to do is create a task force to get them there, uh, just to make sure that they're there safe and sound. So Silver Shade's going to go with them. And who else? Someone that has a decent amount of carry weight in case they need to be carried. Uh, yes, I don't know. Jay, I guess, is the strongest so far that I've checked. Jay, I guess it will be you. Um, Jay is used to carrying around fuel, I suppose. Uh, but he's going to have to give up that job. So, turn jobs off. In fact, just dump that fuel on the ground. Dump your pack on the ground. I'll pick that up with someone else. I'll pick that up with the, uh, the, the Hiver, the new Hiver drone. Where is he? Oh, he was, um... Sitting on the throne, was he? <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, squads. Uh, let's send Jay into this squad. I don't think I'm going to need any building. And then Silvershade, of course, is fast enough and strong enough that he should be able to carry someone as well. Uh, Silvershade, in fact, was sitting on guard. Uh, is going to put away some of this food to lighten his load because he's uh, unnecessarily encumbered at the moment. And that way, if I have to do an emergency, uh, um, picking up one of the soldiers, uh, I could do it without much trouble. Alright, so we are far less encumbered. What do we have? Uh, 19 out of 32, and 10 out of 24. Perfect. Alright, so Jay and Silvershade, you are going to follow, let's just follow the last one here, and we are going to start walking east. Uh, basically, I have to go to the Shinobi Thief um, cosmetic surgeon uh, to get them named, because they've been claimed. It also wouldn't hurt to um, to upgrade the Thief box here, so any of these items I can buy, I should buy. And then, light. oops, nope, that's not what I meant to do. Likewise, with the uh, dismantling of the, uh, or the upgrade of the lockpicking box, we'll do the same. Somehow or another, wow, already? I guess, wow, they were sort of camping me, huh? I suppose, oh, okay. Well, uh, the recruiting guild was sending me another drone to recruit, and they didn't really sufficiently protect him, and he died. Um, I wish I had known that. I had no idea that uh, they had sent me a recruit. Otherwise, I would have protected him. But yeah, they, they obviously beat up this spider a little bit. Uh, ooh, am I walking into... Yeah, I'm walking into another spider. I just dodged that attack in time. Man, this is a tough run. Uh, in the future, I might just pick them up and run them myself. Now, at 16 miles an hour, they're definitely faster than the 11 mile an hour iron spiders. So, as long as they don't run headfirst into a uh, iron spider, I think we're just fine. Angel and Ferris uh, just, uh oh, that's not good. They were responding to the fact that uh, my away squad got attacked and came to help and I didn't notice. And uh, Angel got knocked unconscious as a result. I cannot wait until the average hiver I have can take them out. Alright, so Resnick, here's what I want you to do. I want you to pick up Angel. And all you guys 
all the home team, I'm need, going to need to set back on passive. Uh, so hands of the queen, you're on passive now. And we'll tend her wounds, and we have plenty of beds at home. Then, swords of the queen, let's move you up. She'll be okay. Just a little, little gaff there. These things happen. At least we keep the leg. If I had a good uh, ranger at home, I would uh, take them out ranged, but I don't believe I've left a ranger here, so we're going to have to do this uh, the hard way. All right, this hive recruit, you, your job is going to be operating the bio distillery and making sure the generator has enough fuel, and I'm going to have you pick this fuel up, I'm giving you a job. Ferris. Are we full off fried fish? No, we are not. You could be working, but you're not. Oh, you're medicking. Oh, that's totally understandable. Uh, they are, again, being targeted. Oof, just in the nick of time. I am... I guess I wasn't in the nick of time for uh, Angel, but I'm usually in the nick of time for these guys. The pathing that they're taking is a little weird, I'm not going to lie. They're going south to go north. I don't quite get it. And then this white dot here is... Hmm. Uh-oh. Wait. You were active? Oh, man. I really thought they were dormant, too. I'm really bad at this. It's like a game of lethal duck-duck-goose. Fatal duck-duck-goose. Wow, there's a lot of active spiders around. Now, the running is definitely going to help level these guys up. So, there is benefit to that. Alright, Honey needs a little bit of healing. Seiko is... Uh, actually, he is... What is he? He says he's aimless. He should be resting. There we go. He was, like, laying in bed, but he wasn't in bed. It was kind of a weird situation there. Because, yeah, we're basically waiting on his arm to heal. He is definitely the most injured of that group. I haven't loaded that zone yet, though. I hope jumping between zones doesn't crash my game. So far, so good. For now, I'll just run on two speed. Uh, does look like we have a somewhat of a beak thing nest over here, or something going on. Oh, yep, there it is. Beak thing nest. I'm almost tempted to drag these iron spiders, there's three of them active right here, into the beak things and just let them Darwin each other to death. But, uh, no, I've got, I've got a task. To name, name these recruits. Alright, Seiko's actually healing now. Um... I did receive some tips regarding Seiko, for instance. So, first tip was from Camel Spider, uh, saying I should really bind next and previous as key binds so that I can health check them really, really fast. So I've done that, as you can see here, uh, and I'll be able to health check a lot faster. And then the other tip was from Maxine Mori, uh, meaning that, um, or saying that when I had those dust bandits that were sleeping, I really, really should have used Seiko to sneak up and practice his assassination. He's probably not going to be any good at it, as practicing a brand new skill you tend not to be. But uh, that's a very good point, and I'll have to remember to do that. I don't usually assassinate people, nor do I steal generally in my playthroughs in Kenshi, because it makes the game a little bit easier. But having a decent assassin when it's an inconsequential assassination, meaning that obviously those uh, dust bandits were going to die anyway, right? Um, or at least get knocked unconscious by me. Uh, that's a pr pretty good opportunity to uh, practice my my skills. That's a really good point. And another good thing about going to name these guys is in the process of running over there, they're going to level up a little bit of their athletics and they'll be more useful, these uh, two new hive recruits. We still have a drone back at home that doesn't have a name. Uh, eventually I'm going to give them names if there aren't requests for naming, but for a few episodes I'll leave them nameless. Um, 
just so that the patrons of mine know that there are pawns available. Alright, so here are some berserkers. I know they're not showing red, but if I ran over there, they would definitely get all hostile on me. Berserkers uh, are not, uh, not that friendly. Luckily, especially this group, they are um, very slow. <laughs> I don't know why they're so slow. Usually berserkers are a little bit faster than that. What about this group? Shrieking Bandits. The the Ronin style Shrieking Bandits. There's a bunch of different types. And these guys run at 18, so they run faster than our Hive Recruits here. And that's probably a Bandit Camp? Or Cannibal Camp? Yeah, it's a Cannibal Camp. Because uh, I can... I clicked on a cooking pit from all the way over here. This is probably also a cannibal camp. I really have just wonderful neighbors, don't I? Yep, again, cannibals. They uh, they set up shop, and they have a lot of campgrounds around here. And here's some shrieking bandits I'm running by. Some babblers. When I left it up to a poll of where I would live, you guys really picked sort of the, the most dangerous and quite possibly... Yeah, given the uh, the expanded mods that, <laughs> that you all voted for, it did make this corner of the uh, of the continent just about the most violent. I would say this corner is now really, really, really tough with all the, the expanded mods, and then this corner was always tough. This is sort of the traditionally the end game corner, um, not to ruin anything. But uh, if you're new to the game, don't walk into the Ashlands um, unless you know what you're doing. But honestly, this whole southeast section of the map is is pretty uh, unforgiving. Uh, if you're wondering, I guess I never really went over it. Really safe around Squin and the Hub. Really, 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 really safe. Like, as safe as Kenshi can get. And then, um, if you're a Greenlander and you don't mind fanatic religiosity, uh, this whole area is safe, too. Um, in Vanilla Kenshi... The further you go away from sort of this area, the more violent it gets. It's not terrible in the UC cities, but the guards are really corrupt and nasty. And um, you got to be careful of them because they, they'll mug you, sell you into slavery. All right, looks like everyone's healed up here. Uh, we have to figure out Troller Sauce, I think, is the slowest amongst them. Not to call you out on it, but... I just got to figure it out so you can lead the parade. Yeah, I do believe it's Troller Sauce. All right. And once the zone loads, we'll be able to uh, leave these beds right now. There are no physics involved. Uh, it looks like Red Rain needs a bit of a lift. Queen will go help the pup. Not so much a pup anymore. Full-blown adult, but Queen will go help. Checking my food... Who would, I think it was Thorns. Yeah, Thorns had the food. Oh, we also still have um, armors to sell. I forgot about that. So, let's go to the first floor. Initiate trade. They have about 5k on them. That should be enough to buy a lot of this. Alright, that's most. At this hour, there's not a lot of establishments that will do business with us. So that is the the only downside I waited till it was late. But from where I'm headed, uh, there will be other establishments that we can potentially trade with. All right, so I'm also particularly low on food. I have got 20 of this fried fish. I used to have I left base with like 50 of it. So um, I will buy what food they have: the fried and dried fish. Maybe not the raw fish. Maybe not the raw fish. Um, yep. All right. We're good. Let's go follow Troller Sauce. And we are not ready to go. I know. You weren't expecting that. But uh, I'm going to continue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bag check. No problem. Check away. Now, there were some people that uh, um, criticized, critiqued, or rather even gave feedback about who I sold Hashish to. Um, I don't want 
selling drugs to be the cornerstone of my economy. So I know that I can get to sell drugs at much, much, much higher uh, proceeds elsewhere. Um, but I'm probably just going to sell them... I'm, I'm, I'm really not going to make that the cornerstone of my economy. It is really easy to make a lot of money selling uh, grog and rum and narcotics. Uh, but that's just not how this hive wants to be known as the drug dealers. I mean, yeah, no, th no thanks. So I sold those in order to fuel our industry, you know. But, uh, but yeah, I'll probably never be running drugs to UC cities and smuggling it in. Oh, cute. We've got some, um... Oh, you know I just killed your boss, right? Right? I don't know if these guys know I just killed their boss. Their king, rather. But, uh, sure. If you wanna... If you wanna fight. Now, here's the thing. Oof, some of this damage. We are really tearing through this group. Remember... When we almost died, I mean, granted, it was a group of ten, but still, we almost died, um, not honestly too long ago, fighting that Dust Bandit camp. Now, these guys, because we don't have particularly good armor on, this bandit, for instance, definitely got a few good licks on, uh, Frenchie and Ray. I mean, I'm not saying I'm, I walk away from these fights un unscathed, but, um... We flattened all of them, and none of our guys are even conscious. I would say that's, uh, that's pretty good work. I don't mind if I help myself to their bolts. Where's your leader? I'm probably only going to loot the leader, because I do have a limited amount of inventory space. There's the dust boss. There is not even a bounty on his head. Uh, the, the boss will tend to have gear that's uh, slightly higher quality than everyone else as you know bosses would and should do a quick little health check um frenchie's arm is pretty nasty but uh oh yeah and we have some legs our two slowest people actually got their legs chopped up a bit oh no those were arms uh talon got a leg hacked up a bit but uh no no serious injuries None of them are going to require me to slow down or anything like that. So, following Troller Sauce again. And we can head into Shark. Now, if you're wondering, uh, I am going after another pseudo-bounty. Uh, but I do have to watch where I'm going with this group. And then additionally, um, my other group that was going for the renaming. We are getting pretty close to World's End, so I'm going to have them move up. This group is doing a little bit more sort of bounty hunting. Probably a whole lot. I don't need to be so coy. Probably a whole lot of you know where I'm headed. If you don't know where I'm headed and you want it to be a bit of a surprise, cover your ears. Uh, I'm headed to the Red Saber uh, hideout. Yes. All right. Now you can uncover your ears. Not that you could even hear me me saying this. Uh, the Red Saber hideout has a Mato weapon. Has the horse chopper. Uh, which will be a nice prize for me to take and then of course something like a 10k bounty on the leader uh and a lot of the ninjas uh ninja groups the ninja factions are pretty easy to knock over like that if you can take the dust king you can take out a lot of them um and i plan on it i just make sure that i don't succumb to um blood spiders in this nasty swamp. So. Trying to stay watchful. These two hive recruits. Uh, 17 and 18 move speed alike. So they're, they're getting there. They're leveling up. I kind of wish. Given that uh, Shark here is. So everyone. Every, all the. All the sort of like thuggish uh, crime syndicate groups of the swamp are generally referred to as swampers. Um, they're all they're all sort of gruff and rough pseudo crime um, organizations, and they're called swampers because they 
none of them are formal factions or anything like that. So collectively, they're just the group that lives in the swamp. The swamp people, I guess, is what you could call them. And uh, I'm a little surprised that the swamp people haven't invested in roads because they really should. Oh, Swords of the Queen are being targeted. I'm going to pause for just a moment. Take a look to see if this is a serious... Uh, it is just a random cannibal that is uh, trying to mess with him. Usually they, they move in packs, so my best guess is he's not alone, but uh, I don't see backup initially. Um, let's see what I can do here. Silver Shade, break off, and start firing. Yeah, hurts it, don't it? Shot you in the chest. Now, this is not one of the scrawnies. This guy has some basic attack stats. So he's not uh, not to be underestimated. But between... Uh, I guess these two recruits, like, really, truly do not have combat stats. They have basically sport and zeros. And they don't have weapons either. But between Silvershade and Jay, uh, shouldn't be a problem. Plus, we're faster. The thing is, when you are the Hivers, there's really... A top speed hiver, there's really nothing faster. Um, a scout leg, bionic up hiver is about as fast as you get in this game. So, you know, when you're able to run from everything, uh, it does make the game a little bit easier. Let's pause and switch back to Troller Sauce. Because, although they might get the occasional um, cannibal where they are, Troller Sauce and... The rest of the crew here could be eaten alive by blood spiders if I'm not attentive enough. Oh, and I happened upon some sort of swamp ninja attack that just got called off. Interesting. He maybe shouldn't have said that so loud because I could hear it from 100 meters away. Yeah, one of the problems of the swamp not having uh, roads is the pathing is really garbage. Uh, especially if you don't swim very well, because you find yourself constantly in water. And uh, swimming makes it so that you're basically defenseless, which is a terrible situation to be in when you're against uh, blood spiders. Because blood spiders kind of walk through water as if, you know... Yeah, as if they don't uh, need to breathe or whatever. And they will eat you alive if they catch you in deep water. Very bad. Even, like, top-tiered people can die that way. You know, just about max level, super good armor. You're in deep enough water and totally defenseless. It's sort of like piranhas. Not a good situation to find yourself in. So generally, late game, when I can avoid it, I don't usually come to the swamp. Because it it really is a, is a true and honest burden to navigate in. It's very hard to get to. It's very annoying to get to. There's no good paths. Um, however, there are trade opportunities, recruit opportunities, and um, other reasons to be here. So, first things first, let's go check out... I'm not a drifter. Don't call me that. So, as you see here, they are selling hashish. Um, if you're looking to make a quick buck, which I am not, obviously. If you're looking to make a quick buck, you can run a hashish trade ring where you buy it here and sell it where it's illegal and there's big markup. It's, you know, it's one way to make money in this game, I suppose. Maybe not the most honest way, but hey... Uh, I calculated I need 11, uh, research books, something like that, so I, I'll buy them when I see the opportunity. Now here is a unique named, um, bar, uh, that, uh, most bars are just bar, but this one's called the Dancing Skeleton. And there is a Hive Prince here, 
named Pin. And I happen to have... He's an experienced gunner. Alright, cool. Well, uh, Pin, I suppose it's up to me to name you. Um, so let's see. I'm going to name you Hollow. Welcome to the group. And he comes with armor. Okay, first off, the execute button. I know, I'm loitering, but eventually it will disappear. And then uh, let's get rid of these armor rags because they encumber him. That doesn't make much sense. Um, let's trade. I'm going to buy your meat. Uh, Queen does not need the skeleton repair bed. Her, actually, she does. I'll rent it. It's expensive, but hey, I've got money for once. 400 for two hit points on an arm. Sounds exorbitant, but hey, when you have 50k, uh, who cares, right? Now, the other issue here is with Hollow. Um, I'm only supposed to have uh, 20 in this squad. So I'm going to put him on passive and hold so that in a combat situation, he is not contributing, so I'm not violating the rules, because I don't want to split him off and have him walk home by himself. That would be a really, really, really dumb thing to do to Hollow. Um, all right, Queen here is going to check out some of the other buildings. Let's have the trade people follow around. So Red Rain and Thorns have already sold off everything they need to sell. Um, ninja rags, leather vests, I could buy the blueprints for, but, uh, I'm not that eager to, to do it. Uh, the sleeping bags, however, I will buy. I should probably have, uh, enough sleeping bags, one for each, worst case scenario, and, um, I've got 21 people and, and 14 bags, so someone is gonna sleep on the ground. Or, really, just lie there unconscious on the ground. Now, the rest of these buildings... Oh, this is a smithy. I don't know if I'm really in the mood to uh, buy weapons, but I'll take a look at the blueprints anyway. Hold sabers. Sabers. Uh, but that gives me the ability to make horse choppers. I'm really after desert sabers. Um... Uh, we'll buy the armor plating, though. Pretty soon, we're going to be strapped for iron, so if I see an opportunity to buy iron plating, I could take it. So there's the Fashion HQ for the Hounds, and yet another bar. So let's pop into the other bar. Because of how much armor everyone wears, sometimes it's a little hard to tell who's a hyper and who's not, especially when their feet are underneath the uh, tables. But... Uh, other than the obvious uh, black shifters over here, I don't see any hivers. Nope. None at all. Fish and drugs. <laughs> Interesting combo. Alright, so Hollow is now the slowest. I suppose, um, actually, no, let me not leave yet. So if I'm going to go, spoiler, cover your ears if you don't know want to know where I'm headed. If I'm going to go to the Red Sabers, uh, I really ought to heal up a little bit. So the people of mine that are uh, injured from last fight, I will comp the beds. Because we, we do have some injuries, and the quickest way to lose a limb is to fight uh, injured That's everybody in the bed. Uh, now I can switch over, now that they're resting for a bit. Switch over to World's End. Uh, we, I managed to right-click dead center. Oh, but I think we established that there's no uh, Shinobi Thief thing here. Oh, boy. Uh, I came all this way. Probably a lot of you are like, why are you going there? Because uh, there's no way for me to rename myself at these bars. Uh, what, what I could do is, given the amount of money that I have, I could outfit these Hive Recruits... With some weapons that I buy. Um, yeah. I brought food too, but not a whole lot of it either. So, seems a little silly, but um, let me buy a little dried meat. And 
the fish and I will buy them basic blades so that if I get jumped I have some sort of protection uh, Shinobi Thieves I gotta think about where I go if I want them renamed because it actually is not that easy uh, I would need to travel not insignificantly I think I have to think about it. I need to look it up. Um, Shinobi. I know there's one in the hub, but that's really far. Uh, they got one in Hang. And they got one down here. That's really far as well, but it would be athletics training, I guess. Um, major towns. No, they have, yeah, they have one in Heft and Mag. Heft would be a little bit closer. Yep. Alright, that's a haul, but, uh, we're just gonna have to do it. To Heft we go. Somehow Thor is being attacked. Oh! Joy! There's, uh, blood spiders here. And the guards are not guarding. Let me just... I really have no interest in doing the guards' job for the guards. Um, so I think this is the first time I saw blood spiders, which is pretty crazy given the amount of time I've spent in the, uh, uh, in the swamp. But blood spiders are pretty tough little critters. Uh, if I could... I haven't loaded the zone yet, so it's... Yeah, there we go. Uh, as you can see, their stats are not insignificant at all. Um, some of these guys are a little wounded already. But yeah, because I'm trying to stay healthy for where I'm headed next, uh, I really have no interest in getting um, bogged down in this fight. Because then I would just need to heal more people up. Uh, one of the unfortunate things about blood spiders, if you're curious, is... Looting them, you only really get animal teeth, and they're kind of their their looting hitbox is really really small and annoying. Um, so it could sometimes actually be a physical challenge just to loot them at all. But they're very cannibalistic, and they usually swarm when they attack. It's usually in uh, pretty great numbers. Um, so. Yeah. These guards better be guarding. Uh, let me go stand in the center of this sort of trade area, because I think that's the least likely area that I'm going to get jumped. Alright, so last I left off, these guys were headed out of the world's end and running east to Heft. Um, the cities that have towers are Admag, which is in the Shek territory. Klan stays way down south. Katun is sort of southeast. Heft Hang, which are over here. Mongrel, but I don't have protective equipment for soldiers. I never will. The Hub, which I have to go basically go through all of the Holy Nation territory and Shobatai. So Hang, Heft, and Shobatai. Actually, Shobatai is going to be the closest. Um, but I'm going to want to go south first and then up to Shobatai. I don't want to go through Bast. Bast is... Um, Full of Holy Nation bastards. Maybe that's why it's called Bast. It's not, by the way, but I like to pretend. Actually, I am going to go through Bast because I can outrun them at 18. Eh, because it's better than heading south because here is a lot of patrols. Essentially, it kind of sucks to recruit people because trying to get them named is really dreadfully inconvenient. Alright, everybody is going to follow Hollow. And Hollow, you lead the way. We're healed up enough. So next up, we are going to hit the Red Saber Hideout, which is, um, I believe, this outpost, actually, that I already have marked on my map. And then Hollow here, because he is definitively the slowest, let's put you into the first position because you're also the pacifist and that way it's easiest to click on you 
And you have this lovely hat. Another thing I wanted to check out. I'm going to pause for just a second. I want to make sure that my um, craftspeople... Oh, they're already getting targeted. My craftspeople are crafting. Uh, it actually appears to me like they're not. They stopped. Because the box filled up. That's a, that's a good problem. Um... All right, I want to. I want to look. Uh, I want to manage this right now, but the problem is, it's also a little dangerous to do it because if there's blood spiders targeting the swords of the queen, oh no, stop blinking! Oh no, it's blinking again. Quit blinking. Whatever's trying to attack you, leave him alone. All right, so this filled up, and we still. Oh no, we don't really have armor plating. We do have leather. So the lack of armor plating means that we're out of iron. Which means all of the heavy armor, or the light armor, plate armor that we're making, we can't. Uh, what I will do is storage for more armor. And I will put this on the other side of the plate beater. Alright, and then I also want to... Who's got a... Uh, Ferris, you do, right? Ferris can restock the iron plates. Because he has the right backpack for it. The stackable backpack. And this will allow us to continue weaponsmithing as well, which is important if we ever want to be making nice weapons for ourselves. And I do believe that there's a yeah, there's a whole bunch of uh, iron plates for that. Which means that Crab should be getting back to work. Crab, have you made anything nice lately? Uh, yeah, you're sort of stuck on Cat 1 quality. But you should be climbing out of that soon. Where is Crab? Uh, Alright, he's back to work. Alright, uh, I would say this group is... What's... What is messing with me? Why do I keep lighting up? A uh, bunch of bone dogs. Angry little bone dogs trying to take a bite out of me. That's fine. They, they can't catch me. Strangely enough, dogs in this game don't move very quickly. Uh, checking the stats. Armor smithing is 62. That's pretty good. Snowy should be a little bit higher. Yep, 69. And then crab weapon smithing is 63. Yep, we're getting up there. Weapon quality, we should start to expect uh, MK3s. That's good. Uh, this group down here... Oh, I have to jump around a lot. Over to Hollow. Was getting some uh, lighted, lighting up a little bit. Albeit briefly. My guess is Swamp Ninjas, Red Sabers, Blood Spiders. I don't know. Who knows what's down here, actually. But uh, we are running towards a Swamp Raptor nest. That should be fine, actually. Swamp Raptors are... You attack them, they get pissed. But they stay neutral. I have to wait for the zone to load. And then we should be upon the Red Saber base. Their little hideout before too long. One of the issues of having so many different groups... Um, is the game needs to load each big section of the map zone every time I switch groups, which keeps the action up, but it's a bit of a pain at times. Alright, so this group needs to stay away from Ocran's Fist. That's a uh, Holy Nation military base. And I definitely just got the attention of the Swamp Ninjas. They're yelling from across the water that they're going to end me and take all my valuables. That's cute. <clears throat> Very cute. Uh, are they getting blood spidered? Yeah, they're getting blood spidered. Lucky, lucky them. Queen's going to temporarily peel off from this group and just... Uh, Set the record straight that we're not fleeing. Oh, they're shooting me too. Beep will not allow the queen to get shot at. Uh, 
Oh, wow. The queen just gutted that guy in the chest. Come on, Beep. Beep is getting, like, super stun-locked. That, uh, Swamp Ninja... A little bit tougher than I had expected. Although we did just shoot him in the head. There we go. And he's down. Alright, Beep, how about getting the, uh, the little mask? And maybe taking his ninja blade. Yeah, I'll loot him fully. Alright, patch and beep up. And I picked these two because I know they're super fast, so they're not going to be split up from the group very long. Speaking of which, where is... Oh, there they are. This is not a place you want to linger. Or even be unconscious for. As you see here, the uh, there was another ninja that uh, came to the aid of the one that got knocked out. Oh, look at here. We've got... Bunch of red sabers. While I'm here, might as well uh, make a splash. I'm coming for their boss. So the fewer of them that are around the swamp hideout, their uh, ninja, ninja red saber hideout or whatever you want to call it, the, uh, the better it is for me. Queen and beep, keep running over. All right. Unfortunately for Hollow, Hollow has to sit this one out only from a technicality. Uh, but eventually Hollow will be refielded. Don't worry. You're not stuck as a pacifist, my friend. Not in the least. You will be a knight of the hive in no time. Yeah, kick him. Kick him, Talon. Kick him good. Talon's uh, martial artist skills should be... Yeah, it's climbing. Down he goes. Alright, doing a little bit of uh, first dating. I should aim to loot some two. This is, of course, just to mention, not a hostile faction. They're just bandits and won't be treated like uh, slavers or anything like that. I don't think there's really a leader amongst them. I could be looting their... their paltry gear, but I, I don't think I really need to. Uh, quick little health check, seeing if anyone's really in a bad way. Beep did get his head uh, beat in a little bit by that guy back there. Uh, our troller sauce is a little hurt, so is Talon, just a little bit. Uh, a little bit of damage is a good thing. It makes you tough. Well, let's continue on our way. I'm just going to check on the overhead map how our other group is faring. I haven't seen red dots from them, meaning they haven't been attacked. And they're still moving. So, that's good news. And then if I click on Snowy, I see she's operating a machine, sort of. You know what it is? Uh, let me go back there. She is... What kind of building materials do I need? I need one regular building material. I'm going to have her manually make this storage so that I have more um, space to to store my armor. I have a lot of armor that I could put on people, though. I have a lot of these shirts. Um, ideally, I was saving the shirts up for soldiers that are going to return home. God knows I could get rid of this rag. In fact, that frees up some space. It doesn't make any metal, but I can burn it. Just get rid of it. Alright, so she's making another armor storage so that I'll have two. And that will allow me to uh, make a little bit more armor before I fill up. But we have tens of thousands of cats worth of armor back home, which is pretty good. Okay, so this is a swamp ruin that uh, I'm going to bypass. I'm on a bit of a mission here. Uh, but because I've been zone swapping, it needs a second to catch up. Hollow should be uh, able to run at normal speed in no time, I think. 
usually it doesn't take very long to get up. I would say safely above roughly 2021 20, puts you ahead of most other humanoids. Does not put you ahead of uh, big things, but big things run at like 37 miles an hour, so it's it's pretty hard to outpace them. You just have to out micro them. It's really the way to do it. Big things have that I've said this before, but that big old wind up attack, like they're the great Bambino trying to swing for the fences. So it's pretty easy to uh, to dodge it when you see it coming. Like, uh, you know, it's not like you'd stand in front of a hockey slap shot and not cover, you know, your delicate bits. And that's kind of what it is. When those big things wind up those giant necks of theirs, it's like a hockey slap shot. Just that dismembers people. Oh, bummer. Uh, well, we're here at the entrance of their quote-unquote hideout, but we have to do a little bit of swimming. Not a big fan of that. I'm going to get everyone to just sort of swim on their own. Sometimes when you do big caravan swimming, you only swim at like the slowest speed, which kind of sucks. Um, hmm. These swords, I really don't want to be in two fights at once, and these guys are getting targeted. Uh, all right. I will have to switch over. I just have to make sure that it's not like some giant holy... Oh, jeez. It is a big stack of uh, cannibals that are on top of us. That's not something you often see in this city. Usually it's um, holy nation and, and uh, <laughs> United City guards just beating each other to hell. I would say this area, the Bast area, and... And in Drin and Bast uh, is a bit of a battle zone. If you're looking to just see, oh yeah, see here exactly what I'm talking about. The samurai are just hot in the heels of the cannibals, and I'm sure there's a holy nation patrol not too far away. Oh, I'm looking for one. Maybe this is one. Can't click on it from this distance. But, uh, yeah, that UC Samurai Patrol just went up against those cannibals. So, uh, in other words, to reiterate, uh, that group is fine. Now, over to you. Let's go ahead and have, um, Ron do the knocking. Oh, I need to load the zone first or I'm going to be underneath this facility. I'm sending him in just because he has heavier armor, so he's not likely to uh, get waylaid by them. And once I open it up, if there's an opportunity for Seiko to uh, to sneak and do some assassinations, I'll take it. Uh, luckily, this helmet does not hurt my stealth. Often helmets, a lot of helmets can and do, but not that one. All right, I will have Ron sneak. Seiko, now is your chance to uh, to ply your your black arts here. Uh, yep, you have approximately a zero percent chance to effectively knock anyone out because most of them are up. In fact, they see you. I don't really know what's going on. Why they're not full-fledged attacking. Uh, another thing I ought to do is Queen, Green, and Hella. Let's line you up. This is going to turn into a ranged fight pretty quick. Hello, guys. There's no way I'm stealthed. All right, there we go. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. Now I wanna hold my ground. I don't wanna go into their territory. I want them to come out here. Uh, Hollow, you're just gonna have to sit this one out purposefully. All right, let's let them, there we go. Let them come to dry ground here. 
So, their leader is somewhere in this um, big old mess and should have a very brightly colored sword. The, uh, the horse chopper. And they'd also have a bounty on their head. Ooh, you can see some of the... Maybe they're around Chez, because that was a very strong hit that Chez just got hit with. Red Sabres are now hostile to me? Yeah, I would hope so. Pony is down. Minus is down. Yeah, this is going to be a tough, tougher fight, for sure. Um, well, if I have people that are down... Well, no, I'm still going to have Hollow sit this one out. Filtering people in is not exactly in the spirit of the uh, the challenge here. I'm going to have Ray, Ray, uh, Ray come over here. Ron, where... Ron's in the middle of the thick of it. That's fine. Red Rain is um, hurt Thorns. Where th Thorns is... Doing a pretty good job of downing them. So, Seiko definitely needs some meds. But uh, it's it's fairly urgent, but not urgent enough for me to stop what I'm doing. Uh, this rude buster is coming to try to melee our rangers. That's not good. I'm not doing awesome in this fight, but I'm not losing either. All right, beep, let's pull you over. Is this their boss? Yes, this is their boss. The last person standing. All right, Frenchie, let's um, go help Seiko. I think that was Thorns. No, uh, where are you? There you are. First aid him. All right, the Saber boss is downed. Uh, Ron doesn't have to carry weight because he has all this heavy armor on him. So, Chez? Pick him up. Chez has pretty wounded legs, uh, so maybe not the perfect person to do the lifting. We won the fight. Now, it's, um, I won't be executing anyone here. I won't be helping them either, but I won't be executing anyone here because that's not really in the spirit of this fight. They aren't so much my enemy. They were just a, a bounty with a good blade. Speaking of the blade, uh, let's go ahead and hand that over to someone here. Chez, you're the one carrying them. How about you get it? And then Chez is uh, pretty... So so this is a Mato blade. Uh, Mato blades are unique. Uh, you can't ever manufacture something as good as this. So there is no horse chopper in the entire game better than this one. And it's mine now. Ha 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 ha. And then what we'll do is we'll turn over Thor. You want the, uh, yeah. Thor will take the, the Nadachi. And backpack the rest. Cool. Now we're definitely wounded. And the swamps are a particularly bad place to remain wounded. Wow, Ron chased someone off that tried to flee. Swords of the Queen's been lighting up. They're being targeted. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Um, as far as stealth goes, Seiko is definitely the highest in stealth, but he's currently unconscious. Ron, why are you over there? All right. So what I ought to do is throw down some camp beds to start to recover. Now, it's not the safest place to recover here because there's going to be wandering patrols of red sabers and swamp ninjas and uh, blood spiders. So it's really a bad place to linger. But the purpose of the camp beds is to minim minimize the amount of time that I have to linger. And then, of course, there's all these red sabers that potentially will wake up at any moment. So that's another uh, issue. So, part of a huge, I would say a pretty significant huge part of this game, uh, in my mind at least, is how fast can you recover from having the snot kicked out of you. Uh, because a long downtime can definitely, definitely snowball a bad situation into a really bad situation. So if I linger too, too long here 
and I'm wounded and I don't make efforts to recover. Uh, I could definitely see a scenario where blood spiders come roaming, roaming through and it ruins me. The, uh, the game is a little dark right now, so I know it's not a whole lot of much to look at. So I'm just going to start sending, I don't even care priority wise, I just want these beds not to be idle. Um, so Queen is trying to fill them ASAP. Now, some of my people are actually legitimately unconscious, and they should probably take priority for resting up. Because uh, an unconscious person can offer no ability to flee a fight or whatever. Alright, Frenchie, could you uh, first aid the Red Saber boss? Because he's worth more alive than dead. Uh, green. Who else is unconscious over here? Well, they're starting to get back up. As you can see, a few of them just stood back up. Uh, Honey, you definitely need to heal up. And what they're going to do is they're going to play dead until they think that there's some sort of advantage to getting up and then trying to put the herd on me. Honestly, I think what's going to end up happening is they're just going to keep standing up and then... uh. They'll get more and more mortally wounded as time goes on. Uh, Queen, you need... Uh... Alright, so I don't have enough beds for all of these. I'll destroy one of them. Queen needs to go trade with Red Rain again. For the last four. Alright, Cookie. Let's get you healed up. Minus really should be healed as well, being unconscious and all. The amount of damage we take is not necessarily even. Some people get a lot more beat up. Usually the, the people that are ranged get a lot less, but in this case Hella actually got pretty beat up too. And then in my mind, um, I don't want to pick favorites, but obviously uh, Bone Dogs heal much faster than everyone else, so they're particularly good at, um, you know, at recovering from fights. Uh, we're, we're just going to leave the Red Saber's gear on. It's worth a lot of money, and um, it's not, he doesn't weigh any more wearing it. I could start picking through the average person's gear, but they, it's just not worth the time to me I know crazy right but uh, yeah I'm not even gonna bother Chez definitely needs to heal up as well so he's gonna pass the bounty over to green green might not be the perfect person to pick it up because he is encumbered pretty f seriously but uh, green doesn't need healing so So now I'm just going to tab through the people that are healing to make sure that um, that people that are close to full, like Ray, uh, give up their bed to people that are way more hurt, like Chess. And then Queen, you're not going to be able to sneak at all because you have really heavy armor on. So never mind. I was going to take a peek in there to see who's still sleeping. That's a lot of bodies. I wish I could double click and count them all. I think we were relatively evenly matched. There's... Well, let's see. We, there were the boss, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 
Yeah, there's probably roughly 20. It was roughly a 20 on 20. One of them was a quote-unquote boss. And Chez is walking away with a nice, pretty sword out of it. I love it. All right, I'm going to start speeding up time. Uh, the other group here, let's see what's going on. This other group is probably, oh yeah, just outside of Shopatai. That's good. They didn't hit any skimmers or anything like that. At this rate, both soldiers are at 19 miles an hour, so the average skimmer is not going to be able to catch up anyway. What's going to happen here is the, um, a lot of these guys are either dead or dying. Uh, some of them, like this guy, is patching himself. You wouldn't know it, but he is actually patching himself. You see his stats going up? He's playing dead. That's all right. I don't, I don't intend to stop them from trying not to die. I already have their boss in custody. It doesn't really matter what they do. Well, I am just about out of time. I was hoping to get Seiko to uh, re recover, not be in a coma anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You actually stood up, dude. Yep, you should have just stayed playing dead. And try to sneak, assassinate one of the... Yeah, I'm going to try it, even though he's seriously hurt. As you can see, there's already some dead bodies over here because there's the corpse flies. No, no one's sleeping over here. I could use their beds, though. All right. Well, that's about it. We took down the Red Sabers this episode. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, uh, drop me a line. If you would like a pawn named after you and you're a patron of mine or a sub on Twitch or something like that, let me know. Uh, speaking of Twitch, I have a new series called Kenshi on the Rim happening. It is basically RimWorld with a bunch of Kenshi mods, and the protagonist of the series is Beep, Agnew, and Ruka. So if you're interested in that, uh, either catch it on Twitch live Wednesdays and Fridays from 5 Eastern to 8 Eastern, or catch it on YouTube uh, when it is posted. And the schedule for that will be up on my website, radomont.com. Thank you for watching this. Thanks for tuning in day uh, after day, week after week, for the crazy hijinks of the Hive. Adios, everybody, and thanks for watching.